What is going on guys and girls? My name is Steve or Steve and welcome back to Minecraft. How are you doing everyone? Welcome back. Welcome back. Today we are going to be checking out the latest Minecraft snapshot. This bad boy is 19W07A. I have no idea why I'm Steve. For some reason my skin didn't load and I was like, you know what? Let's roll with it. It's been a long time since we've seen Steve. I miss him very much. Look at him. Isn't he so handsome? <laughs> but yeah, welcome back everyone. How are we doing? I hope you're good. My name is of course James, or thanks to you. And we're going to be checking out a brand new mob that has been added into this snapshot, which is one that I've really wanted to see for super duper long. And of course, it is the fox. Oh my goodness me. So yeah, I've got like a big list of features as like what the fox does. But what I thought we would do, I should have said what the fox says. Oh, do you remember that? How long ago was that? What does the fox say? Blah, blah, blah. It was like 2015 or something. Oh, I can't remember. It's been so long. But yeah. So as well as actually that, apologies. I have actually missed a couple of snapshots out recently. But what I thought I would do is as well as checking out the fox in today's episode, we're also going to go and check out a few of the cool new features that I missed in videos, including one that I really, really, really want to see, which is something to do with like these traveling traders or something like that. Super duper excited to see those. I haven't seen them myself just yet, so we're going to go and try and find one of those in just a second. However, foxes! Foxes! Where are the foxes? Are you a fox? No, you're a sheep. So, I think, like, people have known that the old fox, he was going to be coming into Minecraft for quite some time. However, finally he's actually been added to check out. And it seems like there's actually quite a few awesome features that come with this fox. And I thought it would be kind of cool to check these out. So, this is literally where we've just spawned. We've kind of spawned next to this NPC village. Now, of course, if you have been keeping up with the Minecraft snapshots we've been doing on the channel, you'll know that I'm a super duper uber fan of the brand new NPC villages. I love them. I think they're great. So much better than the old ones. Um, have you got an eye patch? You do. Do I trust you, Mr. Weaponsmith? Hmm? I think I do. Yeah, we're going to trust you. I think. Although having said that, you have imprisoned all of these pigos. And you know what we're going to have to do is free the pigs. Free the pigs. Free the pigs. Go. Go. Speed. 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 Why don't we... Hey, hey, come on. Run on. Come on. Come on. So, from what I can tell, these foxes are actually nocturnal animals. So, I haven't actually seen any of them spawning in and around this area. Although... Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I think like the last snapshot video that we did, we actually looked at this compost bin. Um, so yeah, I may this may have been in a previous snapshot since then. I'm not too sure, but it seems like these compost bins now spawn randomly, like inside NPC villages, inside like the um, just these like flower beds, not flower beds. You know what I mean, like the planter areas. Ah, oh, okay, it's the first time I've seen it. So there we go. Anyway, so it says that the fox is nocturnal. So I guess what we should do is we should try and actually find one naturally. I'm not even so sure if they do spawn naturally right now, but we do actually have a spawn egg if we need to actually spawn them in uh, by themselves. So one of the first features I saw about the fox is apparently um, you can actually, they, they explore villages at night, apparently, which I thought was kind of cool. So... I mean, is this even the right biome for them to spawn? I'm not too sure. From what I can tell, there's actually two different types of foxes. We have, like, the regular fox, and then we also have the snow fox. So, obviously, those snow foxes are going to be spawning in, like, the snowy biomes. Um, but I, I think we can summon one in if we need to. So, I guess, for a few minutes here, I'm just going to see if we can find a naturally spawning one. If not, we're just going to spawn a bunch in, because they have a few cool nifty little features that I thought we would check out. Do you see any foxes? Oh, yeah. Weren't foxes supposed to only spawn in, like, tiger biomes? Was that right? I can't quite remember. Oh, there's one! <laughs> yeah, I think it was, because they had a vote, didn't they? There's one! It's a natural one! He's just eating an apple! Oh, my goodness me. Okay, yeah, so this is one of the features that I wanted to show you guys. First things first. Oh, my gee. They're so derpy looking. No, Mr. Fox! Doing wolf! Stop it! Hey, stop it! Stop it! Such a buzzkill! Dude, leave a fox up. Oh, okay, you know, hey, hey, right. You made me do this, man. You nasty, nasty little dog. Come here, come here. Hey, you, 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 get out of here. Get out of here. Oh my goodness me, look at them. That's what my dog looks like. 
That's what a little Eevee looks like. Oh my goodness me. So yeah, check this out. This is a wild fox. So I think... I have no idea why they're so derpy, but check this out. Boom, this is a feature. Did you see it? Did you see it? So any food that is found on the ground, the foxes will actually eat. And as well as that, they also harvest berries from berry bushes. It seems. Yeah, check this out. Is he going to do it? Is he going to do it? He's got a little berry in his mouth. Oh, I don't know if you guys can see that. Can you sort of oh, get out of the way, plant? Can you see that? It keeps food in his mouth and runs around with it. Oh, my goodness me. I swear, if this looked a little bit more like a pug, which it kind of does because of the eyeballs. <laughs> this is literally my dog. Runs around, finds whatever it can on the floor, tries to eat it, has derpy eyes. Oh, my goodness. Look at it. It's so cute. So, yeah, check this out. This is um, basically a nocturnal spawn. So the few little features are it's super duper quick and nimble. And foxes, no, wolves will try and attack the foxes. But the foxes can pretty much outrun the wolves unless they kind of crash into something, which is sort of near what just happened. As well as that, they'll also like forage food off the ground. And they'll also harvest berry bushes. Which is kind of amazing. Also, apparently, they breed when you right-click them with berries. So, I need some more foxes here. So, yeah, I'm glad we actually found a naturally spawning one. Let's actually spawn in a couple of more. There we go. Oh, look at the baby one. Yes, breed! Breed! Yeah! We got a baby fox! Oh, that's so cute! So, apparently, a fox which is bred will trust you forever. Um... So, I'm not sure if you can so much tame them in as much as... Wait, do they follow me? I don't know. Out of interest... Right, this is this is for science here. I'm just going to give one a little bit of a boop, see if they actually attack us. Oh, wait, do they run away from us? Oh, no way! So, when we're actually in survival mode the foxes run away from us but i thought it just said that foxes that are bred will trust you forever didn't i just breed one why are they so scared of me no i've lost all my foxes i've still got my ronald though you want a berry you want a berry you hey ronald don't you give me that sass so one of the things that i wanted to test out about this was apparently they can jump pretty high um, and I feel like the only way that I can actually show you that is to basically spawn a bunch of these and then spawn in some chickens. So you're going to have to be careful here. This is an interesting feature. But if you do have some kind of chicken farm, which is outside, you're going to be warned because the old fox, he likes the chicken. As you can see, they will come and attack chickens. Oh, they jump. Did you see them jump? Wait, do that jump again. Oh, man, okay. They don't like the chickens. I saw you jump. Ooh, they're like salmon. Salmon of the land. What? Okay, the jumping is straight up weird. Why do they jump like a fish? <laughs> oh, man, these things are so weird. I mean, obviously, this is the first time they've been introduced, so they're kind of like bug testing it and stuff, but I'm kind of curious why they jump so weird. Do you see them? They jump so high. You know what? I really like these guys. Um, so yeah, this is the brand new fox. So basically, just a little quick recap. They are super quick and nimble. It seems like they're scared of you unless you try and breed them, in which case the baby should trust you. But for some reason, that didn't happen just now. Not too sure why. Uh, they eat any food item that they find on the ground. They can also harvest berry bushes. They're nocturnal, of course. And apparently, they do also explore villages at night. So I tell you what we can do. Uh, if we do this, hang on, locate uh, village, boom, and then we go and teleport to it, which I think should be the one that we just had. If we go and spawn in some foxes... Will they start exploring the village? Explore! Explore the village! Go on! Speed! Ex explore! Ex ex explore! <laughs> Maybe they only explore the villages and the tiger biomes? I'm not sure. Maybe? Oh, hang on. I mean, he's kind of... Oh, you know, I have a berry. It's easier that way. Okay, so the next feature that I wanted to look at was basically this brand new um, wandering traveler, 
which I think is what it's called. So apparently this was not from last week's snapshot. This was actually from snapshot two weeks ago. Um, so yeah, I've kind of gutted I missed out on that one. Uh, but yeah, so from what it seems like from reading up about him, he basically is a random kind of villager that spawns randomly, I guess. I mean, I was kind of hoping to maybe find like a desert biome or something. I really hate biomes like this. You see these things where it's just like stone and stuff. I think it's super duper ugly. Um, oh, geez. Have I crashed my game? Yes, I have. Oh, snapshots. Oh, you want to see something cute? All right, so I've just loaded up a new world. Um, yeah, I forgot to mention this just now, but they do also have a sleeping animation, the foxes. And I thought I'd show you one of the snow foxes as well. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, they sleep in a little ball. This is literally my dog. I'm not kidding. <laughs> Googly eyes, check. Sleeps a lot, check. Forages food wherever it can find food, check. This is literally my dog. Unbelievable. But yeah, they, they have these little sleeping animations. So cute. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd just spawn this guy in just to show you the sleeping animation. So currently there's only two different types. You have like the regular fox, the one that we just saw, and you also have the snow fox. So obviously the snow fox is going to be spawning in like the snow biomes and stuff, but it does make a little snoring noise. Can you hear it? I don't know if you guys can hear that. Hopefully I've got the audio loud enough. It does make a little snore. Oh, it's so cute. Wouldn't it be cool, right? If these foxes, they made like little dens. So you would randomly see like kind of little areas like this, but maybe a little bit nicer. And then inside there'd be like a sleeping fox, like a fox's den or something. Oh, that'd be so cool. But yeah, anyway, I want to try and find one of these. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, I love these new villages. They're so cool. Hmm, okay, so I've had a look around quite a few different biomes. For some reason, I can't seem to find any of these traveling villages. Um, and I'm not too sure why. So I just found this random NPC village, and I think, you know what? We might as well just spawn some in, so at least we can actually check them out. This village, however, is kind of ugly. No, I don't want to do it here. <laughs> Let me find somewhere more pretty. Hmm, well, yeah, I still haven't found any of these guys. Um, so I don't know actually how rare they are, but we can spawn some in. So I found some nice little flower forest here. Three, two, one. Oh, oh my goodness me, they look amazing. Oh, I love them. Okay, this is the first time that I've seen them. White dye. Look at that thing. Oh my goodness. Okay, so yeah, these are the um, the new wandering traders. And basically, what these guys do is they have like a really sort of wide variety of items from different biomes. Um, and yeah, they're kind of just like another trade alternative. So, I mean, I'll be completely honest. One of the things that I tend not to do too much when I play Minecraft is, is actually use NPC villagers. Um, I, I like them, I think they're funny, and I like to find it, villages and raid them and stuff, but in terms of actually using the items, it's not something that I tend to do that often. But I think, wow, bubble coral blocks, glowstone. Wow, okay. Cornflower, red dye, a bucket of puffer fish. <laughs> I like these guys, so it seems like they have a variation of different colored dyes, got some cactus here as well we've got some acacia saplings a bucket of tropical fish so essentially what they do is they have like a really nice variety of items which you may not find in your immediate surroundings so if you're just starting up uh you know or if you're playing like a uh, like a hardcore session on stuff and you don't want to explore too much i guess these are going to be like a really nice way to to gain those sort of slightly trickier to get items i guess uh, really good for dyes. The only thing is, of course, you're gonna need an awful lot of emeralds for these. Um, blue orchids, lime dyes, buckets of tropical fish, glowstone, vines, mushrooms, saplings, packed ice. Yeah, these are some really strange things. So I think these, you know what, I I've kind of discovered a really good use for these guys. I reckon there's gonna be like a lot of adventure maps like the thing is these days like i'm gonna be straight straight on the on the down low with you guys like the, the the adventure map scene on minecraft is just nothing compared to how it used to be and that makes me so sad because if you've been someone that's been with my channel for for a while uh you'll know that back in the day we played so much minecraft and one of the things that i absolutely adored was brand new adventure maps um but it, it seems like these days there just really aren't that many being made anymore um, and it, I really miss them. Like, I really, really, really miss them. But 
one of these things that would be cool is you could have like a world which is maybe like completely sand and then you had to find these traveling villagers to maybe find items like packed ice and podzol and it's the only way that you could get them would be to interact with these villagers like a custom map or something but we would have emeralds in of course that would be pretty nifty huh well i think these guys are kind of nice i like them actually i think they're sort of nifty apparently they go invisible at night is that true <laughs> oh my goodness me did you see that oh that's the coolest thing ever that's the coolest thing ever man and they drink milk in the daytime what oh that's straight up cool <laughs> oh, hang on wait let's do this right, 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 right. let me just take a bunch of them down Oh man, all right, okay, here we go. Are we ready? Are we ready? Are we ready? Are we ready? Hang on. Are we ready? Are we ready? Time, set, night. Three, two, one. <laughs> okay, I love that. Oh, I love that. That's so fun. <laughs> Well, there we have it. So yeah, I think that's probably going to be about it for this snapshot video here today. So just two of the main features out of a couple of the more recent snapshots. Of course, the foxes are the latest things to be added, but I wanted to catch up a little bit here with the snapshots. And I think the wandering villager is so cool. I love the, the day and night thing. It's such a simple feature, but I think that's just really fun. <laughs> and yeah, there we have it. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. Wait a minute, I've got my skin back. Hey, when did that happen? I'm so confused. I'm so... Oh, you know what? It doesn't matter. <laughs> so yeah, thank you very much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please remember to poke me in that like button. And if you're not yet subscribed, go for it because we do Minecraft done fun. But until next time, thank you once again for watching. It's been such a pleasure. As always, thanks. See you